And then there's the Avantage. Now, this has the same 1.4-litre engine as the Reflex, but it's aimed at an altogether more serious family man. No flamboyant colour-coded bumpers here. It's even got side rubbing strips. For the family man, after a bit more in the way of luxury, there's the 1.6-litre fuel-injected Aura. And then there's the one that I'd like to have a go in, the 130-horsepower Volcan. However, I'm told that in the UK, this is going to be the bigger seller. So this is the one I'm going to go and drive. Not only did we eschew the Volcan, but we did the decent thing and scoured the south of France for some typically British weather. Now, this engine's terrific. Basically, it's the same unit you get in a Peugeot 205 GTI. Although it has low gearing for good acceleration, it isn't even very noisy. My only beef is that a catalytic converter is relegated to the options list. However, the engine is not the best bit of the car. That accolade is reserved for the suspension. The ride is as close to faultless as you can get, but this does nothing to hurt the handling. Citroen have invented a new type of rear axle which helps here, allowing the rear wheels to steer in tandem with those at the front. This is probably the best chassis you can get in a small car. If it weren't for this badge here, I'd have an awful job believing this was a Citroen. It's also normal. Proper dials, proper knobs, a two-spoke steering wheel. It even appears to be well made as well, though having said that, this seatbelt mounting broke earlier on today, and that's not good news. However, normalness doesn't mean it's bereft of clever touches. The stereo is of a type that would be useless in any other car, so there's no point stealing it. And the heating and ventilation system, joy of joys, is able to provide cold air to the face and warm air to the feet at the same time. Basically, this is a very well thought out, comfortable and spacious cockpit. Citroen fans will probably kill me for saying this, but I think this is one of the best interiors they've ever done. It's the little things. You can close the electric windows even after you've turned the engine off, and that's got to be sensible if you're forgetful like me. Now, the back all looks completely normal, but believe me, these seats are very wacky. Not only do the backrests recline, but also you can pull the whole thing forwards. If you're carrying a couple of rugby players, of course, you just slide it back. Will this new car sell? Well, providing it's priced properly, and knowing Citroen it will be, the short answer is yes. Plus, of course, it couldn't have come along at a better time. The 309 is old, the Golf and the Astra are due for replacement before the end of the year, and the new Escort badly needs the better engines that are in the pipeline. That realistically leaves the Rover 200, which is a very good car. But believe you me, so is the ZX. So, to sum up, we like the clever seats, the ride and handling are in a class of their own, and the engine's pretty good too. We're less impressed, however, with this styling, and neither catalytic converters nor anti-lock brakes are standard. It does run on unleaded petrol, though.